Hello, today we're going to take a look at the scientific evidence for how kale fights cancer. Kale is a cruciferous vegetable and closely related to broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. There are many different types of kale. The leaves can be green or purple and have either a smooth or curly shape. Kale is chock full of nutrients such as vitamins A, K, B6, and C, calcium, potassium, copper, and manganese. Cancer is a terrible disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It is a complex process, and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. Kale contains powerful antioxidants such as sulforaphane, indole 3 carbonyl, lutein, and zeaxanthin. These compounds counteract oxidative damage by neutralizing free radicals in the body. In a 2001 review study, researchers found that there was a positive correlation between cancer prevention and the consumption of cruciferous vegetables. Ulcerative colitis is a risk factor for colon cancer. In a 2017 article published in the journal Cancer Research, scientists found that lutein, a nutrient rich in kale, has a preventive effect on colon inflammation and carcinogenesis. A recent 2023 article published in the journal Molecules, researchers showed that lutein induces cell death in gastric cancer cells. The study includes details of the mechanisms that lead to this apoptosis. A review article published in 2022 shows that a phytochemical flavanol found in kale called kempferol has anti-cancer effects. Kempferol affects cellular signaling pathways linked to apoptosis, inflammation, angiogenesis, and metastasis in cancer cells without affecting the viability of normal cells. There are so many studies done on the anti-cancer effects of kale and other cruciferous vegetables that this video would be too long if I included all of them. Therefore, here are a selection of the more recent studies. In a 2022 article, in vitro research was conducted to evaluate the apoptotic antioxidant anti-inflammatory and anti-proliferative properties of kale. The researchers reported that the kale extract had an antioxidant effect that inhibited the cancer cell pathway leading to cell death and inhibiting inflammation. Helicobacter pylori is a bacterial infection that can lead to gastric cancer and other gastric diseases. H. pylori is common. Many people have it, but most people who have it won't get ulcers or show any symptoms. Using antibiotics has become difficult against H. pylori because it has become increasingly drug-resistant. Researchers in this 2022 study showed that kale is one of the plant extracts that demonstrated antimicrobial activity against H. pylori. In this scientific article published in 2022, Researchers found that indole-3-carbonyl, an antioxidant found in kale, is a powerful cancer-preventative agent. 
In a 2021 article published in the journal Current Medical Science, researchers concluded that sulforaphane, found in cruciferous vegetables, is a promising agent for cancer prevention and therapy. This 2021 article considered the effectiveness of using nano-delivery of the compounds found in kale as a cancer therapeutic. In this 2022 research study, scientists confirmed some of the anti-cancer effects of sulforaphane, for example, its ability to inhibit cancer stem cells. Clearly, the overwhelming number of studies show that kale has a protective effect against cancer and potentially a therapeutic effect. The recommendations for kale consumption is a little tricky because many believe that it can cause kidney stones. However, some experts have indicated that this fear is overstated that one would have to consume several pounds per day for this to be a problem. For people with a history or susceptibility to kidney stones, two servings per week would give you the health benefits without the risks. For most people, five to seven servings per week would be a healthy and safe amount, especially as a part of a wide variety of green leafy vegetables. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.